Today we're going to look at an intelligence analysis technique called association matrix that we can use to assist us in our OSINT investigations. So as you can see from the screen here, uh, I'm using um, Excel or numbers on Mac, it doesn't matter which, but it's already a table format so it makes it easier to construct. We've already been through a collection phase uh, and as you can see we've got a number of names, vehicle registrations, company names, phone numbers and so on uh, that we want to analyse. And at this point I must note that all of these details are fictitious. So to start off we need to start constructing our uh, matrix. And as you can see here um, I've made a kind of table all the um, points of interest have their own column or row. And as you can see, uh, to note uh, where points of interest are associated, I've made a key so we can indicate that. So how do we populate the matrix? We look at our first point of interest, in this case, uh, Alex Bridges and his column and then international exports. And what we're looking at is where, if they are associated, the um, point where they intersect will be colored in as denoted by the key. Here we go. Okay, so moving on then, we continue that same process with all of the uh, points of interest and how they relate to each other. So we'll look at Mr. Alex Bridges and how he relates to each person in the matrix and then move on to Ben Trench and each person. And as you can see, the graph uh, starts to fill up. Now, this is very simple. Uh, the next slide shows it a bit more complicated. We've filled it up a bit more and we've added some points into the key so we can uh, denote different types of association. And all this can help us populate a uh, link analysis chart or help us in um, compiling our report or produce each uh, association may produce a, a pivot point that we can uh, use on our investigation uh, and do a, a further collection phase uh, as part of the investigation. As I said, this is fairly uh, simple chart. Moving on then, it can be more complicated if you've got more names and you want to see how they relate to each other. You can use two sides of a graph. And as you can see, uh, the names are listed alphabetically and we can see how all they are uh, linked to each other. Points to note on this graph then, uh, again, the key, it's always important to have a key. so the information displayed is understandable, should it be passed on to someone else. And additionally, uh, there's a row here uh, showing the number of links between each person uh, and that may become more valuable information. So the more links someone has to other people, the higher interest that person may be. Uh, moving on to another example then. Again, they've used two sides of a chart. Um, with two different types of information. Uh, this is medical information, I'm not really sure what it is, but it, it doesn't matter. It, it's The analysis is a, a method of organizing the information so you can make uh, deductions uh, and assumptions from that to, to, to take forward to your report. So again, both sides of the graph used and also, uh, as it says here, a color key and histogram. So it's easier to understand the information and how it's been organized and this the way it's colored here provides us a kind of a heat chart so i hope that uh has shown you how to construct a simple association matrix and i hope that will uh, assist you in osint investigations going forward thank you very much